Getting a solo at nationals has always been Nia's goal, and right now, she's determined to do that. They say La Quipa, I say Fuck! They say La Quipa, I say Fuck! Surprise, girl! <laughs> Shangela was the first drag queen that Nia ever met. We haven't seen Shangela since the first competition season. Shangela taught Nia her signature dance move, the death drop. So we owe a lot to Shangela. So Nia, on the ending, we're gonna put that trick in there, okay? And let me tell you something, the crowd is going to go wild. I'm excited that Nia has a chance to work with Shangela. I don't think all soloists are done, that's all. This is the worst possible time for her to walk in and take time away from the kids. They still have a lot of work to do. Shangela's not just a positive influence for Nia, she's that way for all of the girls. And without having Abby here this week, the girls could all use that positivity. I don't know if I've, I've never publicly, like in the setting, said thank you so much for teaching Nia the deaf drop. Because when you did that, that brought out a side of her and actually that has been like a signature dance move. And I can still death drop with the best of them, honey. Y'all ready for the death drop? Come on, okay. Now I'm being tight today, okay? This old professional look. I got my Aubrey O'Day here. Y'all don't tell me <laughs> Shangela's great. I'm excited that she's here. But this is solo week. This is taking up a lot of time, and this is our last chance to bring this losing streak to an end. If Abby was here, things would be really, really different. An all-new Dance Moms, tomorrow at 9 on Lifetime.